Good afternoon, and welcome to the Darth Grumpy Dad Twitch stream. Uh, <clears throat> working uh, this episode is again uh, D3. Like I said, when I get more time to, to stream, I, I uh, am hoping to do some more games. Just get some more games. For right now, things are a bit, bit tight. So, D3 it is. Right, so. Today, in this mantra, we've been, we've done, uh, we've worked a, we started with a wizard. I figured it would be the fastest level, and we've done pretty good. Like, it took us four hours, it took us about an hour to get to 70, and about uh, another three hours to get the first four chapters of our seasonal journey done, and claim our rewards for that so we could get a set to start our whiz and then we just had horrible RNG on getting the pieces for the rest build and I was doing like a Frost Nova build or or and the build everybody else is running now it was the twister build I didn't realize that was the better build and we could have been going sooner that way but I ended up uh, with all my Firebirds gear first, so I hit up the Firebirds, and I got us uh, some gens leveled up, and we done some stuff with that, and I went back and did do uh, uh, an episode on uh, the DMO, the Magnus Opus. Um, we rolled over to our monk. We got him leveled up. We've done... Whoops. We've done some Sun Wuku stuff. We've done some POJ stuff. And now we're on to our Innes. And that build I got together there is just uh, the speed farm build. We'll get back into that. But to start with, it's just basic Innes. Right? You've got the set. Um, oop, I have to identify. And I was dinking around after the last episode. Like I didn't do any farming or anything. Just kind of figured out a... <clears throat> Way to game it that's going to be simple, a little simpler, a little easier to run than uh, oh, another compass rose. I don't think I can. I'm wearing one of those. Ooh, this one's better. Mo better. We're gonna to have to put a socket on that anyway. Hmm, no area damage on either one. Oh, well, that's because that one's got intelligence on it. I wonder why. I don't think I can do this. Just a two-step bonus. I think there needs to be at least three pieces. Yeah, I won't even. Otherwise, I'd just convert that into the... Oh, and it sounds like I got the volume turned down a little bit too low on the game. So, yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We'll bump it back up to 30. I had it at 50 and it seemed a little bit loud in the headset. So, all right. Now, the way I got this set up is a beginner's build. Like, uh, I'm just wearing, I'm, I'm wearing all the pieces, I'm pretty sure. Right? Oh, I got two pieces of Sun Wukus on. Right? Just to give us some extra damage reduction. So let's uh, look at... We'll look at this piece. All right. So we've got Inna's Radiance on. We've got the helm on. We've got Inna's Vestment, which is the jacket. We've got Inna's Belt. We've got Sun Wukus Leggings. And we've got Inna's Sandals on, right? And Inna's Reach for the weapon. So that gives us five pieces, right? This is a seven-piece set, by the way. And it's kind of odd because there's actually a belt in this set. Which is generally, it would be the shoulders. But this set has the belt instead. And I think they'd done that on purpose because they realized they didn't put any damage in this if you uh if you look at the set 
there's no damage reduction on any of the GSAT stuff. Right, so. And normally, um, Cyclone Strike is a big part of this build. Like, it should generally be on your action bar. But I've, I've gotten away from that to make the play style a little bit simpler. All right. So, now for our damage reduction, we've got Lebray Soliloquy. That'll give us 46 damage percent damage reduction every time we hit with Cyclone Strike. Right? And then I've got Sun Wuku's Paws on and Sun Wuku's Leggings on. So we'll get the two set or two piece set bonus on that. Your damage taken is reduced by 50%. While sweeping wind is active. And no, this is not the most efficient way to run this build. This is not the most damaging way to run this build, by the way. This is just something that's going to work a little better. Hopefully for guys till you get your... Uh, like, I'm going off the idea you just got the set. You ain't got Jack. Till you get a, a, a good set of Shenlongs. Right? Um... All the stuff for your cube. Uh, and I believe they also, normally they run the captain set with this. Or We will look. This is That's what we'll do. We will go to the leaders boards. And we will go greater risk. Monkey to monk. And we'll go to our in his mantra. I right, guess some friends. Yeah. We'll look at the top dog here. Right? So, yep, Shenlons, Lebrays, Shenlon, or Inna's, Inna's, Spirit Guards, right? Traveler's Pledge. And that's what I, I'm going to, I'm trying to do Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose on this build. Uh, Convention of Elements. We're going to do the Obsidian Ring to help with our cooldowns. Now, this is a push build, obviously. So, they went with this for more damage. Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose is a good set because you get, as long as you're moving, you get 50% damage reduction. Anytime you're standing still, it'll go up to 100% increased reduction. So it's a nice balance between offense and defense and what you would normally get out of your squirts, which is 100% damage, but it gives you increased or, I mean, yeah, you, you, do, you deal 100% increased damage, but you take 50% increased damage. Like, and it takes 10 seconds for, you, you know, if you haven't taken 10 damage for 10 seconds, then your uh, Squirt's Necklace boost starts, right? So, and this goes back and forth, so it's not really that much different. Okay. Um, and he has Bindings of the Lesser Gods in the cube, Flying Dragon for a chance to double his attack speed, right? His skill, um, skills, he's running, you know, Wave Hunter Fist, Mystic Allies, Serenity for the damage reduction, Dashing Strike, and, and Cyclone Strike. See, that's normally just on your action bar, Implosion, and... Epiphany for the resource generation and the damage reduction. So that now that's your push build, right? And it, it's a good build. It, it it's a little bit busy to go back and forth between your skills to keep everything going. Uh, like I said, this is more kind of a beginner's good good day start build, All right? So going over this again, we have five pieces of our in is on. We have. Two pieces, whoops, one, two pieces of Sun Wuku, one, two, three, four, and five pieces of Inna's. Our skills, we're going to have um, uh, Epiphany, Desert Shroud for the damage reduction, and the resource generation. We're going to have Tempest Rush, right? So we're not, we're not, our... This really isn't going to be our main damage creator. Um, the pop on it is nice. 
but our pets are going to be our main damage traders for this build, right? Uh, so pet damage, area damage are going to be our our buckets. Um, we have blinding flash to stack damage. We have sweeping wind because we'll need it for our for our um, Wu Kim Lao because we need uh, to have our um, you know maybe we don't need uh, oh yes we'll need because we need uh, sweeping wind to get our two piece bonus on our Sun Wukus we have on dashing strike um, mystic allies right so our passive I've gone with relentless assault you do 20 more damage to enemies that are blind, frozen, or stunned, right? I have Exalted Soul. That's just going to give us extra spirit, right? And I have... And I'm, I'm, I'm testing this out to see how it works. And I'll, I'll have it on, and then I'll turn it off. This is an idea that uh, went through my head. I was like, well, even though we don't have a mantra on our action bar, we get all of the mantras because of this set. So we should be able to have that and automatically get this extra spirit, right? And then, of course, uh, cooldown reduction, Beacon of Etar. So these two are going to be for spirit, these two for damage reduction, damage, and our cube, Wu Kim Lao, Crudus Boots to go with our, our inner set to give us uh, more Mystic Allies and Mystic Ally damage, Ring of Grandeur, of course, so like on every build. Now, the way this is going to run, we're just going to, right? If we look at our Sun Wuku set, this is why we need our Sweeping Wind. You deal, your damage taken is reduced by 50% while Sweeping Wind is active. Right? So, uh, that's damage reduction. So, we'll be getting damage reduction from Libres. We'll be getting damage reduction from our Sun Wuku's two pieces, and we'll be getting damage reduction from our Epiphany. Oh, and I forgot to mention it at the start of the show. For all new players, go to your options menu. Go to gameplay. Make sure elective mode is turned on. And make sure advanced tooltips is turned on. Okay, um... Elective mode allows you to put multiple skills from the same category, which I don't think I'm, I'm doing. On, oh, yeah, right here. I got two skills from the same category, and it, and it allows you to equip them on anything you want. Now, I could... Master of Winds, I think I got it there for the cold damage to help chill and freeze. See, uh... Get three stacks. Enemies damaged by sweeping wind for three consecutive seconds are frozen for two seconds. So that's going to help create some damage, right? And if we have issues, still have issues with uh, resource, I'll come do Inner Storm. That'll help us generate spirit. All right. So now I haven't tried this. So I was just thinking around and uh, to give this a try. <clears throat> I've nerfed it significantly here. I have no gem. I have no gem. No gems. And I'm still looking. I'm still trying to get uh, Traveler's Pledge. Because I, I, I just... I, I had one earlier in the game, but I got rid of it. Should have kept it. Should have known I was going to use it on a set at some point. Okay, we have our Bindings of the Lesser Gods also. Like, increase your... Um, Ah, enemies hit by your Cyclone Strike. Increase damage to your Mystic Allies for 5 seconds. Fire Allies get split bonus. I'm going with the Water Allies because it's a little easier build to run. Again, uh, no gems. I haven't even rolled the gem slot on that. And I've taken the Paragon out just to kind of simulate not having a lot of stuff for gold. All right, now is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and we'll go. Where did, um, oh, I know. Ah, we'll just go to Northern Highlands. All right, so 
way we're going to run this. Oh, we got a bookie book. The way we're going to run this is with A and X, right? We're going to hold them buttons down all the time so they proc. Those will proc as soon as their cooldown is ready. And, we'll, and we're hopefully going to be able to hold this down the whole time. Right? And then pop our sweeping wind. When we come in. Wait a minute. Where is my sweeping wind? There it is. Pop our sweeping wind. Oh, oh yeah. And the other thing, we're, we're going to hold down RB. Right? So that those proc anytime they're ready. Tap our sweeping wind once in a while. Now this isn't going to be a super speedy thing. I don't have any... So, with nothing in the build, no jams, no Paragon, right? Um, Crudus Boots, kind of a common drop. We know if we if we just start with, oh, that's why, because I don't have, oh my goodness. So these are backwards. So let's put that there. That's so we can get our dashing strike back in the build. I was wondering what the hell is going on. Dashing strike. And you can go with, like, I mean, if you're pushing, it's important which one of these you use. I generally just go with Quicksilver to give me the extra charge. There we go. So we're going to hold A, X. Right trigger and right bumper down, and we're just going to plow. Right, the KG will let off. There's where, get that cold. Oh, there we go. I forgot to turn sweeping wind on. That's our damage reduction. There we go. Now we're doing a little better. Now... Seems to be staying up pretty good. Now, the way, I, the way I do this is, like, I roll over and I hit my dashing stripe and my sweeping wind at the same time to try and keep that sweeping wind up. Because we just don't have the room in the build. There we go. Yeah, I use that. Our sweeping wind stacks to pop that guy. Oh, well, here we go. Here's a challenge. Yeah, it looks like we're 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 we are more than able to get this done. Get our gems here. So oop, that gives us a little damage. Oh, my swooping wind was down, I think. That's Racket Corpse. That is not Get going. Pop our sweeping wind. Dash strike to the sky. I must wait to use that ability. There we go. Come back in. Now, and we're also not getting our extra 100% from, oh. We're also not getting our, our extra 50% damage from Traveler's Pledge Cup of Throws yet either. So, there's that, because I don't have my Traveler's Pledge yet. And I was trying to get one. I was crafting necklaces and upgrading. Couldn't seem to get one. So, now, here's where we're at. We will go into our gems. And we are going to grab that. Oh, I made one of these. This is our, uh, has arcane skill. It'd be nice, it'd be nice if it had cold. Cold would be better on this, all right? 
Um, how many cooldowns do we have? I'm sorry. Okay. One, two, three. And we do, I don't think we get any bonus from... Maybe we do from Sweeping Wind. We'll see. So... Whoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I just tend to get lost. Ooh, what do we got on this one? Cold damage. Oh, so that's the one we want. Put this one away. Grab that one. <clears throat> Okay, and then we were looking. Doodly doo, do do. No, no, no. Okay, we got this one, which pulls enemies in. Right, uh, three or fewer. So that can give us up to, oh, and it gives us 13% resource and cooldown reduction. And it does not give us any All right, that active cooldown for five seconds after killing an elite. It seems like there's a better roll on that, too. But that's what we got. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with this one in the helm. I was thinking about going with this one because we have, like, four items on the action bar for the cooldowns. Right, but it gives us, it hits us on our cooldowns though, right? It gives us more back into it. But we are going to avoid that for now. All right, and then close this, and then this will be, not, a lot of times when I do these, I'll just have like a Bane of the Trap or a whatever, you know, and our basic gems. Oh, we're not going to need this because of what we're doing. Um, we're going to need our Enforcer, which should be our pet's damage. Yep. And then we're going to need a Guk, wherever it is. Because it's appearing like we can uh, smash that take the heck out of that Tay Guk. All right. our regular gems get let's put all these away get our diamonds out all right all right all right let's see and here we go oh I need to put put a socket on our compass rose too while we're hunting for a traveler's pledge Should be able to get a socket with that many. Let's see. Um, need that we keep in that crit. Keep in that crit chance. Be nice if we had some area damage on here. We do not. We'll just have to make do. I'm going to take the life per second. Keep the vitality. Take the life per second off. And get our socket. Socket's third one on the list. Again, to do this, roll up to your artisan, roll up here, click A, highlight the items, All right? Press A so you can select the skill or the effect you want to change. Hit X so you can see the list of possible things to make sure what you want is on the list. Hit X again and then hit A to change the property. Then it'll give you two choices, right? Now, and it doesn't matter. Oh, there we go, second one. The, the, the rolls that what it's going to come as are, are 
pretty static. It's not going to change what the next two ones are if you grab one, right, and redo it every time. It just gives you a sense like you're doing something. That was that was nice that we got that right away. That that was cool. All right now we go back into our gems. We are going to put. Uh, I guess we put that there. Put that in our weapon. Put this uh, in our obsidian, I guess. Put our tag cook in our squirts for now until we get a traveler's pledge, and the hatred goes in our helm. Right. So, and since we know we're doing T16, I'm just going to pop a Nephi so we can get some greater rifts. Keys when we're done. All right, again, we're holding four buttons down. Sometimes you have to double tap your buttons to get them all going. Get our sweeping wind going. There we go. Dash strike to the next enemy. Right, hitting Y as you dash strike, so you can keep your super wind up. And now we're melting everything, T16. We're pretty much melting everything. Doesn't stand a chance. Our resource is staying up magnificently, so we can... We can start uh, taking stuff out of our... Go back into our skills here. And we can like um we'll we'll try putting some damage back in this. Now, since we're using tra uh Tempest Rush, our attack speed is it this isn't gonna matter. We're not gonna need that extra attack speed, right? So we are just gonna go straight go for damage here. We're gonna I I could go put do the cheat death. I could do this, which is gonna boost our our resist all basically but i'm going to go for straight damage and then we'll try this one too we'll take them both off and then see because 50 and four and again that's just four per second right And now let's see if we can still keep our resource up. Uh, not doing so well now. Now it's okay. So we're gonna have to add one back in. We're gonna take this one because this one's this one's up all the time. So we'll increase our maximum spirit and four per second. Right. See if that keeps us up there. That that was that was it. That's all we needed. Get our sweeping wind going. Do some farming while we're out here. Look at our map. Uh, that way. That ability is not yet to charge. We actually have to hit stuff with our Tempest Rush to get our stacks to grow. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think it's crit strikes with our Tempest Rush 
to increase our surround yourself with a vortex. Uh, each time you strike an, an enemy with a melee attack. Right, so yeah, we have to hit them with our Tempest Rush to increase the stacks, right? Or to keep, to, to refresh it. And it's any crit hit has a chance to increase the force. So if our minions crit, that will also increase our stack. And our damage on that doesn't really matter, any of that. It doesn't even matter that we have three stacks of it going, right? More than once every three seconds. Right? But. Yes, there we go. There we go. And see, that's how I know I get all this information out of this extra information because we have uh, advanced tool tips turned on. Otherwise, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't be able to suss that out. See, I like that, like, technically, the fire guys do do more damage. See, and the only reason we have our sweeping wind is for the damage reduction while it's up from our two-piece bonus, right? So it doesn't, we're not getting any extra damage when it's not up. It can go down. This is when we come up on guys who want to hit that sweeping wind. So if they're within range, they get froze. And we get the damage reduction, right? If we come in and there's a lot of ground area stuff... But we do obviously want to, you know, practice keeping it up. So yeah, nice, easy, easy, cheesy in his build. Now, oh, and the reason why, too, Cyclone damage is a big deal. Damage creator in this build, right? That's why, and that's another reason why I'm... I am running Wu Kim Lao is because it auto procs Cyclone Strike, right? And increases the damage of Cyclone Strike, which is, mm, let's see. I know it's some, uh, let's go over it. Okay, increase the passive effect of your Mystic Ally and the base passives of every, uh, yeah, and the base passive effect of your mantra by a hundred percent right so do 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 where's that okay All right active your mystic ally has his damage increased by 50 percent for 10 seconds every time every time we we, we the cooldown is done on that and it pops their damage goes up 50 percent right uh, oops, I don't want to change the skill. Uh. Go back to town here. I'll, I'll show you when we get back to town, I guess. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see your chat there. My monitor for that is kind of off to the side. Uh, Demon Hunter Para 160. Um, well, I I could play with you, but I'm, I'm like I'm doing most of this is for instructional right now. Um, I sorry, bro. <laughs> Not at the moment. Otherwise, I would normally play with you. Um, I believe I'm set up so you can send me a friend request, though, if you would like. I'm not sure how well you understand English. Um, Darth Grumpy Dad. That's um, like right above my head. See where it says Darth Grump Dad? That's what you're going to be looking for. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. Let me. Yeah, double checking my profile picture. Yeah, it's just Darth Grump Dad. It's the same as what's over my head. If you would like to send me a friend request, I think I have it turned on. I'm not positive what's uh, because I mostly just uh, if I game with somebody else, it's uh, it's a kid or or a personal friend I'm gaming with. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking stuff out. Sorry I did not recognize your see your chat when it came in. And it doesn't tell me when it came in on the There we go. No, I can give you a timeout. It doesn't tell me how long it's been up in chat. Um Eventually I want to get it set up so because I, I all my content is straight from my Xbox. I want to get it, find a way to get it set up where I can run from my Xbox into a PC, PC so I can do all the overlays on the screen instead of having to monitor off to the side. I have to watch because I forget to to watch for comments and stuff. And I apologize deeply for that. This is, really is a low low budget you know Hey, stream. Now, what was I saying? Sorry, sorry. Oh, so easily distracted. This is what I was going to show you. Go in here. And we can, right? Our passive ability. Uh, Mystic ally fights by your side that infuses your attacks to slow enemies by 60% for three seconds. Right, so that's double. So it's for two minutes, or by 120% for six seconds is how long our, our mystic ally is when he's in that form. Right? We'll slow enemies. Hmm. Why do I have... Okay, oh, okay, I do have two of them there. I just didn't see the other one for a second. All right. Um, come back to town. Identify. I know we grab some. Hmm. Transmog. Crusader. Aegis of Valor. They're out here real quick. <laughs> ah. God, I missed. I feel bad that I missed. Missed his, and I'm not even sure if he's watching anymore. Ow! And I haven't gotten a friend request from him, so I believe I have that open to receive friend requests from. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'd have gladly helped you out. I don't normally, but I, I'm thinking about it because in my head, oh, so indecisive. I used to do that with Dauntless. I used to, people used to come drag me through stuff and I'd help other people. And it was really kind of fun. It was lots of fun. So, yeah, I got three spots in my party. Um, you have, when you, if you, I do accept you into my party of the game. You will uh, have the choice to turn your chat on or off. You will be able to select that in your settings in your Xbox drop bar. Um, I'm pretty sure I have, uh, yeah, I have party audio turned on in the settings 
So if you did join me, people could hear you and you could hear the questions being asked and back and forth. But anyways, okay. So we've, we have determined, oh, oh, let's see if I got how many, uh, oh, I get so confused on the menu buttons going in between games. I, it's like, I get, all right, so we have 110, God, we got plenty of those dang things. Got 185 of those. Oh yeah, we got like four primals the other day dropped for us when we were gaming with uh, Doomsday. That was pretty amazing. That was super amazing. I was stoked. Okay, we got plenty of regular Mav craft. Yeah, 300 of those. We're, we're going to have to cheese some reusable parts here and some arcane dust. <sighs> Try and get us Traveler's Pledge here. Nope. Ah. Uh. See if somebody else is some. Some commons for us. Hey, you I sell things for cheap because I will just take them off your body again when you are dead. Not dead. <sighs> Come on. I just want some gray items, man. I, I just need some gray items, dudes. They're, they're not going to let us cheese it, are they? Looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, huh? Oh, there we go, there we go. Come on, Petly Peck. Pick that stuff up. There we go. 
What? He finally pick it up. He did. Ah, oh, dear goodness. Sicky, sicky grandbabies. I'm carrying too much. I don't know why he's making me pick one up before he... But oh well. Oh, we're gonna have to buy some blues. Should be plenty. Double check how many I have really quick. 500, 1,000, 1,000. So let's go grab another batch of these gray items. Young Commander Calderos believes that the demonic scourge will flee before a bloody show of righteous force. He intends to lead a charge from our fortifications tomorrow. Do-do-do, do-do-do, do-do-do. Do-do-do, da-da-da. I'll be damned if I send my life to go close enough and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to necklaces we're gonna craft about 10 of these. Craft a few more just in case. I'll go till I run out of mats. Our gray and blues. Gray, blue, and yellow mats. All right. Upgrade rare items. Here we go. Ok, 
Come on now. You know you want to give it to me. Plenty of scores in there. Jesus. No. No traveler's pledge. Yes, we'll just have to uh, go run some cow sticks and hopefully it'll drop in there. So we're going to need all those mats later anyways. had a socket if it only had a socket okay head back to act one that was a stupendous waste of time We'll pull that one because we really need the pass damage. Get our boon of the hoarder. Oh, I never did put our, that's probably another reason why we were uh, dying so quickly. Uh, there we go, that's going to give us a ton of resist all. Pretty sure we still had Avarice Band on our follower. Yep. Oh, yeah. I was looking for... Hmm. What do I have for weapons? Yep, I don't have anything with uh, intelligence on it, I don't think, at this point. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit out really quick. Gonna grab my whiz. See what she's got. I think I took all her stuff off, yeah. Okay, so gonna grab this Azerath. I think I should be able to reforge it once or twice. Oh yeah, quite a few times. And we are going to see if we can get an ancient out of it. Really quick. And by reforging it, should... Oh, that didn't put intelligence on it, but it did put a socket on it.
Come, come now. You know you want to be ancient. Oh, no way. Well. Oh, there we go. There's intelligence on it, though. And we're going to have to uh, roll that cold damage for poison damage. Should be able to lightning arcane, holy, holy. Poison, yeah. Okay. Come on, I know you want to. Some days, man, it's just like, there it is. Okay. Put it back in the stash. Quit out. Switch back to the monk. What you ask is impossible. Grab that weapon back out. Whoops. Grab Ramaladni's gift. I think I still got one. Yep. I think I've got enough intelligence on her already that this shouldn't hurt too much. Should keep all of her skills up still. Yeah, we're still, we're still, yeah. Bonus. So now, I'm trying to be tricky dicky here. So I put poison damage on that. I put poison gem in there. Um, right. So cold damage. I think attack speed. No. Crit damage must have been the extra on that. Or crit chance. But. Basically that should help proc. That cold damage she does better, but it should also stack cooldown reduction and speed bonus for us because having poison damage on that and her hitting with it should give us the stacks of damage for that. Let's let's give it a try. Oh, wait a minute. I was just going to open a caustic. Fuck. Screw it. We'll do this. Okay, get our sweeping wind going, get all of our That took a second to get started. Well, we might have to have the gem on too for the because I'm not seeing any of that damage stack for us. I should even hit with any attack, so I'm killing everything so fast.
Nope, not looking where I'm going. I'm trying to watch my... Trying to watch my bar there. To see if we're getting any of that damage. We might have to have that. That jam equip also, right, to be getting, whoops, the perks out of it. Because I'm not seeing them. Nope, that didn't work. I have to have the gem on also for her to be able to proc it. But her doing cold damage should help us, though. I will probably keep that weapon on her, though. So when I am running a build where I have that, she can help proc that damage for me. Come on, where's the way out? It is not ready yet. Ooh, treasure goblin. Yep, our, our pets don't trigger our sweeping wind damage for us. We have to actually hit. That kind of sucks. See, it's going down. It's going to... But here's the nice thing about this build. Your pets will keep everyone off you while you're clicking on stuff. And da -da -da. Ooh, area damage. That was... That was a big one. But here we go. Let's get out of here and go back to town. Close this. All right, all right, all right. Um, identify. that traveler's pledge but I don't know what's going to be well I have plenty of greater rift stones so let's uh, go back to let's take this out take this out Blue back out.
Did I change him? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put my... All right, all right, all right. Just making sure. Identify. Let's see if we can do a 90 with this as is. Oh, and we'll add our Paragon back in too before I go. Holy cow. That's going to help. Yeah, doing all that with no Paragon. I cannot afford that. Oh my goodness, my little hacking, hacking coffee sicky sickers. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Now we'll try like a 90. See how that does. Yeah, we're not absolutely one hitting everything now. So we're getting some use out of our obsidian. Like most monk builds, though, once you get. It's like, yeah, you, it's like you have to build some damage up first. Before it starts working properly. Whoops. And again, like every time I dash strike, I hit my sweeping wind at the same time to keep it up. And like I said, since we're getting all of our all of our mantras 100% of the time on this build, I don't have to have a mantra on the bar to be getting the benefit of the mantras. And again, this is absolutely not how you build the Innas to get the most damage out of the build, right?
So you, this is where having a cold cycle would come in handy on the uh, convention of elements to do that 200% extra cold damage. Okay, let's see if we can level, level up our Enforcer Jam a little bit more. Now you could use the red gem of uh, whatever it is, the red one. If you are using the fire build, right? Which I think I've left that gem in my whiz. I'm not sure if I took it with me or not. We'll see here real quick. Okay, so this one, your attack speed and crit hit are increased by five seconds. Which would be all right. I mean, it would increase the attack speed of my pets. Oh, there's the other one. Uh, if you have three or more skills on cooldown, because if you're if you're not doing this build, you would probably have an extra skill on your bar that would be on cooldown. Right? Now, obviously, this one, like, increases our cooldowns to get more damage and damage reduction out of the build. You know, you get 14% back out of the 25. I think it caps at 25 you get some of that back counters um nope not with this gem it doesn't counter it so you really wouldn't want to use that unless you have lots of cooldown in your build already that would just that would hurt you Oh, goodness. Let's close this. Three minutes for a 90, though. That's not... It's not nothing to sneeze at. There's another obsidian for us. I'm going to see. I'm going to grab a convo. Let's see what we got here. Do I even have one with Dexterity on it? That one's got Dex. That one's got Dex. Roll area damage on it. And see if we can go without that obsidian. See if we can make it. 
Where is that? Oh, there it is. So we can get that extra damage on the cold cycle. Frick. <sighs> okay, okay. Duh, my brain just fritzed out. Oh, run this ninety again. Yeah, no, we're not keeping 100% uptime on that epiphany, which is going to be a, an issue, even even once we get our Traveler's Pledge in the build. So, let's hop back out here. Close this. He's not going to be happy with us, but that's okay. we got plenty of keystones. Pop that back out. Grab our obsidian again. Yeah, we really, yeah, I just don't have enough in the build right now. Right, I have to get cool down and area damage rolled on everything. And it's just, uh, not sure I want to do that right now. We can roll cold damage on that, though. That'll get us a little more cold damage. There we go. Yeah, I didn't think we could roll cold skill damage. But I was just going, just looking. All right, so that should get, that should have gave us a little bit more cold skill damage. Which is going to be our main damage creator. We're up to 50. I think, um... Uh, yeah, like about 60 is going to be tops on this build. 65 would be the top cold skill damage you could get. 40. We got crap for cooldown. How do I just go right past that cooldown? It should be. There it is, 40. Yeah, and it needs to be up there like 
60 or 70 percent cool down to maintain 100 percent uptime on your ep epiphany without an obsidian so We'll roll some crit on here really quick, too. We got enough mass to get it done. Don't need this. Need that. We should yet get a crit chance there. Oh. Dang it. Out of ill crystal. All right, anyways, moving on. Won't be able to get any more of that till we start running, till we start running for mats again. Should be able to do a hundred. And again, on the leaderboards, this is not how you run this build at all. They've got 150s, right? They've done 150s with the proper build, right? And we're actually still just kind of killing stuff too quick. Sweeping wind and our... It's all stand up really good in here now. So I might be able to... Did I... Yeah, take that back out for more damage. Right? Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. This will get us a... Oh, and I keep forgetting to get our extra... I also keep forgetting I'm getting that extra damage I could pop for on my Tempest Rush on those Elites. That flurry damage. And it's not going to be a lot, right? But it's going to help. There we go.
still not quite a hundred percent uptime on that epiphany but it's a lot closer than what it was suppose I can take that compass rose out for now until I find a traveler's pledge and use our, our convo so we get that damage on our cold cycle what is this a 100 Okay, so we should be able to get a 105 in it. If it I think with the convo, oh, yep, yeah, my uh, epiphany was down. Yeah, we're going to lose our epiphany again. I haven't hit enough stuff. Oof. Here we go. Here's some good monsters. That'll, that'll help with our cooldowns, having a lot of different guys to hit. Get it, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oof. See what happens when that epiphany goes down though. We're done. Just done. Juggernaut? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now, huh? Oh, wasn't getting our 30% blind damage there.
Yep, this is taking about a day. Oof. Oops, where am I going? Oh boy. I would like to min-max this. Okay, so eight minutes. Now let's see if we take this off. Four. A little bit of extra damage, a lot of da extra damage. And then, since we're getting plenty of cold damage, we will change this to inner storm. For more more of that generation since we took one passive off. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. Save it for rerolls, I guess. to roll a socket. We're losing some crit damn. Which is gonna suck. chance but we're getting a hundred percent that or we're, we're, we're and we're losing some damage but we're getting some extra damage reduction to cover our, our ass when uh, is that yeah it's on the list big list but Oh, come now. Bye-bye. 
There we go. So now that should give us some damage reduction out of three places. All right. So as long as we're moving, while moving, we get 50, up to 50% damage reduction while staying still. We get up to 100% increased damage. So we're losing damage taking the that off. But we're going to get some 50, 50, right? So there's 100. 150 damage reduction, 200 damage reduction. I cannot afford that. It's probably going to take us longer to run this. There's a good possibility. We... Six, eight minutes, nine minutes. Yeah, now we can now we can switch that out for our convo. Wish we had a better convo too. It's not going to be such a big deal with our epiphany down because we're getting an extra bit of damage reduction from that traveler's combo. Now we could also trade this out for the Molten Wilderbeast, right, to get a health shield. I don't think we have any levels. We can start putting some levels in it, but I don't know. Ten thousand life per second. That's an absorb shield two hundred percent of your total life per second. So then you'd wanna also add life per second on all your gear, right? Or probably have the captain set on for that extra 6,000 life per second. But let's see if that will compensate. Keep an eye of fire cycle. And arcane. I think that was our cold cycle. Where is the yellow? There's our yellow. Juggernaut. Am 
my icky stickies, man. I don't know, them poor kiddos. Oops. Let's see if we got another E-pack over here anywhere. Uh, that was a cold cycle. <laughs> What all did we get on? We had to roll the socket, so we got damage, crit hit, dax on this. Yeah, it would have been nice to, oh, there we go, power pylon. You get some more cold damage on it, right? Oh, is that a pack? No. So we gave up a hundred percent damage for some damage reduction. It see we seem to be staying alive better. Um gave up some cooldown for some damage. Seems to be working just as well, if not a little bit better. What what did we pick up on? Oh yeah, area damage. You picked up area damage on that. And there's a big deal. It was a big deal. We had to roll for socket here. We got movement speed. Always comes with movement speed. So there is always a chance of getting some better stuff on that. Here we go. Now we can always give up that dashing strike too for something. Possibly some serenity for more damage reduction, and then we can go back to our squirts, maybe. Yeah. 
Whoops. Oh, our blind wasn't hitting it. It stopped rocking. I hadn't noticed. So let's get our swimming wind going. Let's Yep, this is taking about all day. the pets there it is keep pushing that one yee I don't have enough mass to do this probably okay so mom oh, not bad we took a minute off of it Took a minute off. Okay, um, how many masks do I have? I might have. Let's see if we can get fire damage on this really quick. There's our fire skill. have one of these with fire skill though do I might have to make a couple of these try and get some fire skill if I identify all this That's a good one. That's a decent one. That would be a decent one. is too expensive. My 
follower has cannot die on it. Yeah, that must have got damaged before I got that for her. Okay, um, what was I thinking? Thinking, get her squirts back out. All right. I know what I was thinking. Thinking I was going to take a chance on something. Yeah, I don't know how many embers I have, but I'm going to try, whoops. Try and get one of those with fire. Crit chance and crit dam, no fire. Poison. Not really doing a bunch of poison damage on this one though. That's brain was thinking. There's nothing to think about. Thinking about something else that wouldn't have worked. Crit, poison, attack speed. One of these we can do for now. Whoops. Crit, poison, attack speed, and attack speed again. Well. I guess if I'm going to lose...
I'm debating whether I want to go with the, the crit chance or the attack speed. It's gonna, we'll go with the, the crit chance. Whoops, I didn't mean to put that away. Okay, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, you lost your water. Yeah. <sighs> My little fellers. Over here whining in the coffin, figured I better do some checking on them. They're just sitting at the table doing not much, but being on their little pads. There you go, little fellers. And the other one's hiding out in the bedroom. Okay, we're almost at our two hours. Uh, let's see. First, let's... It's an enemy. That's not a bad one. Like that secondary effect on that one. Yeah, and which one does this one? Tax speed and I like that secondary effect. We will put that one on. It's hoping for fire damage, but roll that for fire damage for now. And we're going to try this with our fire allies because we get a higher damage bonus out of this for our fire allies. It, it seems to me like it takes a little bit longer for that to apply itself. But, and then we were going to... Make this... Uh, da, 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 da. our sweeping wind and let's make B our mystic ally whoops Fire ally. And why? Serenity. For a little bit more damage reduction, since we're giving up, like I'm thinking, I know I just went and done all that work to get the Traveler's Pledge. And now I'm thinking something else. Because down the road we might be able to change to the Sliver of Terror instead of the Shard of Hatred. I 
wanted crit. I don't have a whole lot of failed crit. And I wanted the extra crit dam here. That's what I was rolling for. Because the attack speed doesn't exactly get us a whole lot. What's the matter, little one? Well, it's your pad. You figure it out. And we're out of the skin. There, there's some crit down. Area damage, or we got area damage, so cooldown would have been cool. And we'll have to come back to this and roll this for some area down or uh, cooldown reduction. I don't think we get anything, and it's. Oh, we still need our crit dam on that. And I haven't rolled anything on this at all yet. We could probably roll. Oh, yes, I know a little more. I know. So we got, we could roll. Kind of need all those. Probably end up rolling that for some cool. Quit it, you're fussing. It's because he can't get the pad to do what he wants it to do on the game he's playing, and he just went right back into the same game. Oh my goodness! All right. And what's our, our fastest on that has so far been seven thirty-eight. We'll try it again, see how that goes. Of course if we get a crappy Okay, here we go. We have to hold all the but okay, whoop. I'm going a little crazy, gotta Figure out which buttons I'm doing here. So now we have a fire cycle. Okay, so we're getting our extra DR. We've got a fire cycle. And we've got our squirts. Let's see how this goes. And the ability to pop our sweeping wind if necessary. We have no dashing strike now, so our speed is our speed. That's it. It does seem like the fire allies are chunking a little bit better. Whoops, hung up on something. Oh yeah, the fire allies are definitely chunking stuff way better. That ability is not yet recharged. And our resource is staying up pretty good. Nice.
And every time we pop our Mystic Allies, we get a big pop of uh, seems like we get a decent pop of uh, resource as well. As long as we don't have too much hit distance in between our monsters, our resource is fine. Oof. Never, oh, that poison damage is wrecking us. Still need to kind of uh oh you tell that fire cycle <laughs> that fire cycle man that fire cycle and come around again. Oh! smile and hit him with that cyclone strike to proc that damage wait for the fire oop that was a set of blues Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not quite as good as as having having a uh, way of the hundred fists on the bar because you can tap that for a while and build up. Uh, the assimilation on that to get a damage boost, right? You tell the moment that speed boost ran off. Alright, now it's probably just our fire cycle. So. See, and our girly girl over there keeps... Oop! Our f blind wasn't procking. And there's our cold cycle. Uh, fire cycle right here. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. That seemed like it took her out a bit faster.
So I'm not saying it's a 150 build, but it's a decent little build. It'll get the casual player. If I get some time, I'll do just like a quick 10 minute overview of this and post it. But basically, uh, starting uh, boots, you got your inner boots, Sun Wuku's leggings in his favor, in his reach, Sun Wuku's paws, Labre Soliloquy, in his vast expanse, in his radiance. Squirt's Necklace, uh, Bindings of the Lesser Gods, Convention of Elements, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. In the cube, we've got Wu Kim Lao, the Crudest Boots, Ring of Royal Grandeur. On your skill bar, on the A button, you get, it's uh, Epiphany, Desert Shroud. Um, and Flurry, we're not really getting any out of Flurry. You could pick, if you're running a fire damage, you could pick a different one of those, I guess, if you wanted. Um, blinding Flash, Faith and Light gives us 29% extra damage for 3 seconds. Um, Serenity Ascension, Mystic Ally, Fire Ally, and Sweeping Wind, Inner Storm. Our passives are Beacon of Etar, Determination, Momentum, and Relentless Assault. And let's go back to seeing what we got. Go back to town and see what we got for final time. And it'll be time to wrap this up. Seven ten. So every little adjustment we made has been taking time off our level 100. So I think this is uh, this is uh, going to be the starter build then. I mean, like I said, you can use Traveler's Combo to get some more Paragon in, so you have 50% more damage reduction. Um, like I said, I don't see this being a push build because we give up other damage. Like I'm sure, like I said, on the follower boards, if you look, or leaderboards, follower boards, leaderboards real quick. All right, let's go to top global. Um, I'm sure. Yeah, they're using, they were in the full set. It looks like. That didn't say exactly which is so. Okay, so they're wearing crudest boots. So they have room for the, and they put their bindings there. So that, oh yeah, because they had, um, these guys are going to die on me, I swear. So they have spirit guards, right? Spirit generators reduce damage, so. That's where they're getting their damage reduction. Their other damage reduction is Spirit Guards and Labre Soliloquy. And then they have Way of the Fists, right, which is their generator, their basic... Why do I always do that? Their basic attack. That Spirit Guards, their Spirit Generator that they're getting their damage reduction on. Labre's damage reduction. Um, Epiphany, Desert Shroud, there, there's their damage reduction. So that's their three damage reductors. And I'm using Sun Wuku's Paws and Libre Soliloquy and Epiphany. So that's our three. Of course, with um, then they get a, a damage multiplier on assimilation on the 100 fists, right? You got Cyclone Strike on the bar, and I'm using Wu Kim Lao to auto proc it. And then, oh yeah, these, since these are their weapons. Um, oh, and 
they're using the 100 stacks thing also have fire damage on it cold damage running water allies and they're running to 150 with it without the the bonus of the fire allies so the way Shenlons works is uh like your damage of your spirit generators is increased by two percent which is the punch right reaching a maximum spirit all damage is increased by 350 percent and then you no longer generate spear spirit and your spirit is drained until you run out right so now you could still pull this build off probably with a tempest rush the way i am though and you would instead of yeah you hmm, how would you do that oh yeah because you'd wear the spirit guards you'd wear the boots and you would um put these in there and you would replace well no because then you wouldn't have spirit generator so you wouldn't get your yeah so whatever all right for those of you tuned in off and on throughout the uh broadcast i thank you very much uh please follow me here at twitch and hop on over to youtube and follow me there as well i should have a link in my main main page um have a good one. I'll catch you later.